in the first month of the year is you having your hands on a lot of different situations. Maybe feeling as though you're in the driver's seat and control, but it's almost like the power is being removed from you. Now it's not to say necessarily that you're entering into a stagnant period. It feels like it's a re-evaluation period. Many of you may be looking at a residency change the last six months of the year. Love seems to really be coming up. I wanna say the third and the fourth month of the year and then the last two to three months. In regards to love earlier in the year, it's more about people that you love, like family. It's about looking at those relationships, appreciating them, even with a current love partner, move up a level or two there. The big thing for Aries is going to be in May to October. It's blessings in your sign, but it's also making you a little more impulsive. There are changes in love. Big focus is money, how you earn money and how you value your money and how you invest your money. I feel love in the beginning around February, possibly you having to reevaluate what love is, locking things down and making it a committed relationship or investing a lot and not being able to necessarily just pull away. Follow your gut. Your gut never lies. Energy never lies. Looks like maybe even around August, looking more at work. You're looking at career. I feel like you're looking at career development. I also feel like you're looking at academia. You're really going to start to feel some payout from that around November and December. October, you shedding something, tossing it overboard. So out with the old in order to make room for the new. December, of you getting behind the wheel in life. They have to step into who they are more in that independence and not be controlled by anybody. There's big lessons all year long, big time stuff in identity and relationships, a reevaluation of your philosophies. For the first three to four months of the year, I see a hand coming in and pulling your voice out. That means that the universe is requiring your voice. It's time to evaluate the karma on this until the fifth and the sixth month of the year. Around May, your ears are ringing. You seem to be really, really in tune. Love may be coming in. The ninth month, a time for you to speak your truth, but you're being heard more more, they're coming and they're recognizing you. You may be looking at big promotion then. The 10th month, we're looking at more peace in the residency. For the end of the year, we're looking at full steam ahead. You're like a train, you are focused, you are setting really strong boundaries with situations. You could decide to finally kick the bad habit. What you're going towards in a positive manifestation, this is actually karmic endings. Mars retrogrades in your sign. You gotta think about how you're acting and how you're being strategic. The eclipse are definitely going to have to do with work and possibly letting go of any mental processes that are no longer serving.